dear students in this video we are going to solve the problem from matrices the problem is based on a non symmetric matrix with repeated eigen values that means the eigen values are repeated but the matrix is non symmetric first we see the problem the problem is find the eigen values and eigen vectors and eigen vectors of a is equal to the given matrix a that's called a that is equal to 2 1 1 1 2 1 0 0 1 this is the given matrix Using this matrix, we are going to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. First, you have to check the given matrix that is symmetric or non-symmetric. So, solution. given a is equal to at the given matrix 2 1 1 2 1 1 1 2 1 0 0 1 now we have to check whether this is the symmetric or non symmetric it is useful why you are solving the repeated eigenvalues other times we are not using if your eigenvalues are repeated that time we can use is it symmetric or non symmetric depending on that we can find the eigenvectors. So, now we change the row into column. This is the first row that will change into first column. This is the second row that will change into second column. This is the third row that will change into third column. Now, you again check that both matrices are equal or not. Here, 2, 2 correct, 1, 1 correct, but here 1 is there, here 0 is there. So, both are not equal. So, any one values are not equal. So, the whole matrix is not equal. Therefore, the given matrix is a non-symmetric matrix. Therefore, the matrix A is non-symmetric. Next, you have to find the eigenvalues. Using the characteristic equation, you have to find the eigenvalues. Therefore, the characteristic equations of A is redundant A minus lambda i equal to 0. So, A minus lambda i equal to 0. If you solve this equation, see this determinant, you can get some values. That, that is that is lambda q minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus s3 equal to 0. This is for 3 cross 3 matrix. So, we name this as equation 1. This is the characteristic equation. Now, we have to find s1, s2, s3. Then you apply. Then solve that. You can get the eigenvalues. So, find s1. s1 equal to formula is sum of the main diagonal main diagonal means in the given problem this is the main diagonal elements here you can add all the values the diagonal elements are 2 plus 2 plus 1 so if you add 2 plus 2 plus 1 you get 5 therefore s1 equal to 5 that is what first value we found next s2 s2 equal to sum of the minus of the main diagonal
so you can write the same vector so first you are going to find the first minus so two one 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 two one zero zero one here minor means this is a diagonal in this diagonal you choose the first element here you're eliminating after deleting row and column these are the minus so so here minus are two one zero one so first minus are two one zero one next again in the same diagonal element choose the second element here you delete the row and column find the remaining values so remaining values are here two one zero this one so plus two one zero one next the same way in the diagonal you are eliminating the last element so this row and column you delete the remaining values are there are four values two one one two so the last values are two one one two next you are going to expand this diagonal element you simplify this using this method first you cross multiple this method two times one is two minus here one times zero is zero so the first determinant solve this way the second determinant two times one is two minus one times zero is zero plus here two times two is four minus one times one is one equal to now you are adding all the first term is two plus two plus three here two two here four minus one three so that is equal to seven therefore your yes two value yes two is equal to you found that is seven next we are going to find the s3 value so in the next page s3 is equal to determinant of a that is equal to determinant of the given matrix right the given matrix the given matrix is 2 times 2 1 1 2 1 1 1 2 1 0 0 1 now we have expand the determinant first you consider the first element next you consider the second next you consider the third here you assign plus minus plus so that is equal to first two element have plus sign next one how this is how minus sign so minus of one again how plus sign so now we are going to copy the remnants So that's equal to I said this 2 plus 2 next is minus sign so minus of 1 next also have plus sign so plus 1 remaining terms you write it in, inside the bracket now first you have to find the factors of this here you did if, if this 2 is there so eliminate, eliminating this row and column remaining you have the this determinant value 2 1 0 uh, zero one so two one zero one next second value is you assume plus one so you are eliminating this row and column so remaining values are one zero one one so one zero one one next you consider that value so here you're eliminating this row and column you get remaining one two zero zero so one two zero zero now again you have to expand this so two of you cross multiple this way you get two so 2 minus the cross multiple this way you get 2 times 0 0 minus 1 of here 1 times 1 is 1 minus 1 times 0 is 0 next plus 1 of here you multiple 1 times 1 is 1 minus 1 times 2 0 times 2 is 0 now you can solve inside the bracket so you get 2 of 2 of 2 minus 1 of 1 plus 1 of 1 equal to here 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1 plus 1 now we get 4 therefore s3 equal to 4 in the last value here we feel that is a small mistake this is not equal to 0 0 here you have some correction this can be written as 0 and 0 because this one you are considering you eliminating this row on column we have 1 2 0 0 so 1 2 0 0 that means 
when your cross multiple you get 1 times 0 0 2 times 0 0 so here both values are 0 so the last term totally is 0 so there is no last term so you have adding all the terms you get 4 minus 1 plus 0 you get 3 therefore s3 is equal to 3 Now we found S1, S2, S3. Now apply all the values in equation 1. Here S1 value is 5, S2 is 7, S3 is 3. So now our answer becomes equation 1 is put S1 equal to 5, S2 equal to 7, S3 equal to 3 in equation 1 we get 1 becomes lambda cube minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus s3 equal to 0 so you apply all the values here now you get lambda cube minus 5 lambda square plus 7 lambda minus 3 equal to 0 now again you are going to find the value of lambda what is the value of lambda that's called the eigen value first you collect the coefficients here in this equation first you put lambda equal to 0 suppose you here you put all the terms are 0 0 cube minus 0 5 times 0 0 7 times 0 0 minus 3 if you add all that is not equal to 0 next you have to apply 1 suppose you put 1 that is equal to 1 cube lambda equal to 1 then 1 cube minus 5 into 1 square plus 7 times 1 minus 3 that is equal to 1 minus 5 plus 7 minus 3 so this is 8 this is minus 8 8 minus 8 equal to 0 therefore you put lambda equal to 1 your answer is 0 that is the factor you have to apply the uh, continuous values 0 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 3 minus 3 when you get the 0 that is the factor suppose you get in minus 2 equal to your answer is 0 so that is the factor now we put lambda equal to 1 so that is the factor so now we are using synthetic division method this method and find the values lambda cube coefficient that is equal to 1 lambda square is equal to minus 5 lambda coefficient is 7 the constant is minus 3 here starting with 1 because we when we put 1 our answer is 0 so we start here with 1 always beginning is 0 only now you add both terms 1 plus 0 is 1 now you multiple 1 times 1 1 you put the value here here 1 Again, you are adding both, you get um, minus 5 plus 1 minus 4. Now, you multiple both, you get minus 4. Put it here. Now, you are adding these two terms. 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. Now, 1 times 3 is equal to 3. Now, 3 minus 3 plus 3 is 0. The values are 0. Now, this can be considered as lambda square times this is lambda times this is constant now you multiple with lambda square lambda and constant you get the equation lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 3 equal to 0 here we get one answer that is lambda equal to 1 so we found one value lambda equal to 1 again you are going to solve this equation here lambda cube minus 4 lambda plus 3 is equal to 0. Here this is the product, this is the sum. Product is here 3. Here product is 3. If you split 1 times 3 is 3. Product means you multiple. 1 times 3 is 3. You are adding, you get 4. Sum is 4. Therefore, we found the factor that is lambda here minus lambda plus 1 lambda minus 1 lambda minus 3 equal to 0 if you multiple both minus 1 minus 1 you get plus 3 next you are adding both minus 1 minus 3 you get minus 4 so if you comparing both terms are equal to 0 then you get lambda equal to 1 lambda equal to 3 you have three answers the one is the lambda equal to 1 here another answer lambda equal to 1 lambda equal to 3 so therefore the eigenvalues are 
1 comma 1 comma 3 here you see that carefully here eigenvalues are repeated see that here repeated eigenvalues are there then you start the eigenvectors in different way and now you can check the given matrix is symmetric or non-symmetric if the matrix is symmetric and eigenvalues are repeated you can find in different way here non-symmetric uh, matrix non-symmetric matrix means we can find the answer in other way so first we find the value of 3 for eigenvector then you can find the value of 1 for eigenvector here first next you put x1 0 x2 0 or x3 0 any two values 0 any two not three these two or these two or these two then you can find other two eigenvectors okay therefore three eigenvectors you can find now first we are going to put lambda equal to 3. So first we can form the eigenvector formula. So to find eigenvector next step is to find the eigenvector you have to apply this form then you get the formula a minus lambda i equal to 0 times x is equal to 0 here your a values are 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 0, 0, 1, minus lambda into i. Here, i is the unit matrix 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, times x. x values are x1, x2, x3, equal to 0, 0, 0. Now, you multiply this lambda inside. This lambda you multiply inside. So, you get... 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 0, 0, 1. Here you multiple with minus also inside. Then easy for you. So now outside will change into plus. Now you get minus lambda, 0, 0, 0, minus lambda, 0, 0, 0, minus lambda times x1, x2, x3 equal to 0, 0, 0. Now what you do? You are going to add both matrices. So add the first element. First element you get 2 minus lambda. Then you add the second element, second element 1 plus 0, 0, 1, 1 plus 0, 1. So here 2 minus lambda 1, 1. Similarly, here you are adding 1 time 1 plus 0, 1. 2 minus lambda is 2 minus lambda. Again, 1, 1, 1 plus 0 is 1. So 1, 2 minus lambda and 1. The last also here 0 plus 0, 0. Here 0 plus 0, 0. Here 1 minus lambda, you get 1 minus lambda. So 0, 0, 1 minus lambda times x1, x2, x3 equal to 0, 0, 0. Now we are going to put the value of 3 here, lambda equal to 3. So for case 1, put lambda equal to 3, you consider this is equation number 2. In equation 2, now we get, here wherever lambda is there, here you put 2 values, so 2, 2, 2. If you apply 2, 2, 2 values, now you get, uh, 2 minus 2, 1, 1, 1, 2 minus 2, 1, 0, 0, 1 minus 2. Here x1, x2, x3 equal to 0, 0, 0. Now you are solving all the terms. You get 2 minus 2 equal to. Sorry, we are putting 2 lambda equal to 3, not 2. Lambda value is equal to 3. So, 2, not 2, 3. Wherever lambda is there, you put here 3, 3, 3. So, you get 2 minus 3. Here also 2 minus 3. Here 1 minus 1 minus 3. Now, you are solving that. You get here minus 1, minus 1, minus 2. So, in the next page, you get minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 
copy the remaining term your remaining terms are 1 1 here also 1 1 here 0 0 times x1 x2 x3 equal to 0 0 0 now we are form the equation multiple the first row with this column we get the equation that is minus x1 plus x2 plus x3 equal to 0 next you multiple the second row with the first column we get another equation x1 minus x2 x3 equal to 0 so x1 minus x2 plus x3 equal to 0 next you multiple the third with the first column we get 0 x1 0 x2 minus 2 x3 equal to 0 therefore 0 x1 plus 0 x2 minus 2 x3 equal to 0 this is named as equation number three four and five you collect the coefficients from three and four these three and four coefficients here 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 you come back and solve the equation so three coefficients are here minus one 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 therefore in the next page minus one 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 four coefficients are 1 minus 1 plus 1 1 minus 1 plus 1 again you repeat the same thing here so you get minus 1 1 here again you repeat the same thing to the next so 1 minus 1 this is called the x1 x2 x3 here we are solving equations 3 and 4 So, here x1 by, here you cross multiple 1 times times 1, minus of minus 1. So, 1 minus of minus 1 equal to x2 divided by, here you multiple 1 times times 1, here 1 times times minus 1. 1 minus of minus 1 equal to x3 divided by, here minus of minus 1 you get plus 1, minus 1 minus 1 you get minus 1. Now, x1 divided by, you get adding both to minus and to minus you get plus sign so 1 plus 1 equal to x2 divided by here also you are adding both signs you get 1 plus 1 equal to x3 divided by here 1 minus 1 0 so if you are adding the denominators you get x1 by x1 by 2 equal to x2 by 2 equal to x3 by 0 here 2 is common in all the terms so divide by 2 so 1 2 so 2 here also 1 to such. So, after cancelling, you get x1 by 1 equal to x2 by 1 equal to x3 by 0. Now, we can obtain one eigenvalue. So, the eigenvectors. Therefore, hence, the corresponding eigenvector is your vectors are write the answer in the bracket. So, 1, 1, 0. 1 1 0 next you put the lambda value your lambda value is other value plus 1 plus 1 1 is repeated twice so choose any one and apply the next is case 2 put lambda equal to 1 in equation 3 Now, here you put lambda equal to 1. All the place of lambda you put 1. So, 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, 1 minus 1. So 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, 1 minus 1. The remaining values are here 1, 1, here 1, 1, here 0, 0. Here x1, x2, x3 equal to 0. Now, we are solving the digit. 2 minus 1 is 1. So, here 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 0. Therefore, you get 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. Here, x1, x2, x3 equal to 0. 
Now again you multiple and form the equation. That's equal to You multiply the first row with first column, you get the equation x1, x2, x3 equal to 0. So, x1 plus x2 plus x3 equal to 0. Second, you multiply the second row with this column. So, x1, x2, x3 equal to 0. Therefore, x1 plus x2 plus x3 equal to 0. Next, you multiply the last row with the column. Here, x1, x2. 0x1, 0x2, 0x3 equal to 0. So, 0x1 plus 0x2 plus 0x3 equal to 0. We name this as also equation 6, 7, 8. Now, we convert here. Our first two equations are same because the given matrix that is here, non-symmetric matrix. So, eigenvalues are repeated. Here, eigenvalues are repeated. So, we can obtain the same equations, repeated equations. See, all the equations are same. So, you choose any one of the equations and put x1 value 0 first. So, choose equation 6. Equation 6 is x1 plus x2 plus x3 equal to 0. Here, first you put x1 equal to 0 then you put x3 equal to 0 any two values you can put x1 x2 x3 any two you can choose and put 0 here i choose x1 x3 and put 0 we find another two eigenvectors so here first x1 equal to 0 you consider the same equation x1 plus x2 plus x3 equal to 0 here put x1 value 0 so 0 plus x2 plus x3 equal to 0 now you move x3 to other side so subtracting x3 on both side so now x3 x3 cancel therefore x1 x2 equal to minus x3 so x2 equal to minus x3 you can assume that the denominator have 1 so now you move this negative sign to down now we get x2 by minus 1 equal to x3 by plus 1 so these are the answers now x1 is nothing if x1 is not there you can achieve the denominator is equal to 0 so hence the corresponding eigenvectors are eigenvector is here you find three values 0 minus 1 1 therefore 0 minus 1 1 similarly here the previous page again we put the same equation x3 equal to 0 so you take the same one copy the equation x1 plus x2 plus x3 equal to 0 here x3 you put 0 so x1 plus x2 plus x3 now i put 0 equal to 0 now minus x2 on both sides now x2 x2 cancel so x1 equal to you get minus x2 so in the next page x1 equal to minus x2 now you divide by minus 1 on both sides so divided by minus 1 now minus minus cancel this side you get x1 by minus 1 equal to x2 by plus 1 here x3 is not there so you can assume that x3 denominator is 0 therefore here we have find one another equation so another eigenvector that is hence the corresponding eigenvector is your answers are minus 1, 1 and 0. Therefore, minus 1, 1 and 0. Therefore, we found 3 eigenvalues and vectors. So, the eigenvalues are
और आइगन वैल्यूज और वन वन एंड वन वन एंड थ्री वन कमा वन कमा थ्री द करस्पॉन्डिंग आइगन वेक्टर्स और There are three vectors. X one equal to this is x one one zero zero. One one zero or one one zero. And x two equal to we name the other one that is x two. This is x two equal to one zero minus one one. Come on, x three is equal to this is x three. So x three is equal to minus one one zero. Thank you.